and uh, it's my third attempt to record this video. I have wrote, written this article uh, in June 2021 and uh, completed it just now or rather um, revised it and edited it and completed uh, in terms of like, yeah, I definitely completed with the digital fashion uh, narrative at this point. Um, the idea was to write uh, the article, The Fall of Digital Fashion, back in June instead of this one. Uh, but I did end up writing this piece um, that is a more of like a guide to digital and crypto space um, as of June 2021. And uh, it's a popular piece. People love it. Uh, people see uh, it as a valuable uh, piece of content. And I've put together um, a collection of... Um, a lot of different um, ecosystem players in the digital fashion world and the crypto space uh, for the fashion industry. Um, and I've been been really blunt and honest um, in my uh, communications here and um, sharing the story of me and new life and how I've been creating um, and weaving stories there with uh, about 130 accounts that I've created on new life. Um, and uh, the future that I see for the new coin and new life ecosystems, um, as well as the other players in the industry uh, that are taking themselves very seriously as, um, you know, the next wave of fashion. Um, and I've been pretty critical in my review, to be honest. Um, I um, have received several calls from these um, featured uh, characters. Um, some of them wanted to hire me, some of them wanted me to, you know, um, not change what I wrote, but definitely um, reconsider, I guess, the language and or the way that I've um, showcased them. But I don't give, um, um, I don't, I don't care <laughs> of your opinion. I'm doing what I'm guided to do and um, I've been a reporter my whole life of truth and I've been uh, writing these kind of articles in the past and it's just a way that I feel guided to um, reflect on what's happening in culture at this present moment. It's a big article, as you can see, with a lot of links and images. And if you look at the um, the crypto... the, the um, the post on... Uh, um, Notion I did. Where is the Notion post? Here. Here's the original one. Um, there are even more. Oh, fuck. I don't like when these kind of things happen. I should be probably a little bit more uh, careful of how I share. Um, but it's here. It's here. Um, comprehensive guide to the digital fashion space. Let me just show you uh, this piece here because it's much uh, full in terms of, um, you know, screenshots that I made. And the reason why I made the screenshots is to uh, make sure that these are not disappearing, you know, even though the digital fashion is going to disappear, at least the screenshots are going to be saved here and on my hard drive, um, at least until a certain time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, until we print them out and save them somewhere is in a, in a book. I had an idea to print it out and make it like a you know magazine type, um, but I'm too I'm too hopeless um, on this field to be able even to engage myself into these activities um, and investing in that. But you got the idea, it's big work. Um, so what I'm gonna do now before publishing that piece on the fall of digital fashion, I'm gonna go through uh, the um, names that I featured on that first article. And um, I'm gonna look at them and um, honestly narrate um, what I'm seeing and how my relationship with these entities have developed uh, in the past six months uh, because again you can see that this piece has been published on June 19th and um, today is December 22nd 2021 and I can't believe that so much time has passed so since then and um, 
I still haven't really changed my opinion on the future of digital fashion and the fact that it's going to be a fad. Oh, it's still on the rise, but um, it's a fad. And uh, working in fashion industry for as long as I worked in it, I can definitely tell apart what is um, a fad and what is a trend and still what's the nature of trends and fads that they're there to transform. Yeah. Okay, let's go into the new coin right away. New coin has changed its website and um, you know, we've created much more communications uh, since the last time um, I've gone public with it. Um, there's a lot of um, words, as you can see, and um, everything is guiding to either GitHub or the dev. Um, let me show you the dev tool. Um, where is it? Here. Docs, I mean, the, the docs. Um, there's a lot of information for you to learn of what the new coin ecosystem uh, layer, uh, blockchain layer, can provide. Um, it's a parachain, it includes uh, multiple um, blockchains in one, and um, I'm very bullish on that simply because I trust my body and I know that I've invested so much time in engaging with Newcoin and um, being part of the new life ecosystem and uh, creating more than 130 accounts on the app by just testing the technology and um, uploading my consciousness on that and creating the digital avatar um, on that platform using this technology. It means a lot. Uh, again, being in technology my whole life, I, I know what's up. I know what's going to stay and what's going to go. This used to rotate. Why it's not rotating anymore? I'm kind of sad. Um, sponsor. Um, uh, yeah, the website is uh, poorly designed. I don't like it. Um, I think it's. Um, um, I think it's overly designed. You know how it is. Like when sometimes you spend so much time on designing something and it just becomes like too designed and um, just you know things like that appear and it's just just feels like in this this thing and it's <laughs> it's it's a mess let's be honest it's a beautiful mess um <laughs> i like this fact that you can change it to um the white color but i like the purple i like this little movement here uh, that we just observed but generally it feels like 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 it feels like i need to like change the um you know the scale or something to make it look better uh and maybe actually the 80 percent scale is better huh yeah oh you know why um because you probably tested and designed it on your huge screen and i have like a regular normal screen and you have to like view it in this 80 percent huh is that what it is about yeah because it looks much better here huh and it's actually rotating um, well, here's your live feedback now. It looks much better. Yeah. yeah, social uh, uh, 3.0 is um, definitely exciting. It's um, <clears throat> I'm gonna stay for at least like in the next five years, six years, and then by 2026, 2027, uh, and by 2028, uh, the most, we're going to see such huge changes on planet Earth and um, things like the Internet, Web3 and uh, Social 3.0, crypto will be out of radar, you know, out of radar. Um, we will have other um, issues to tackle and um, there will be uh, a shift in consciousness to the level where we would not need to use these kind of old school technologies to... Um, navigate through planet Earth, okay? Edgy thing to share, but, you know, that's why you got me. Okay, um, you know, when I click on these things, I'm just going to be honest here, is that... This one's not... Yeah, this one, like, for example, if I'm searching for my account, which is Reflection, which is my mothership account, account not found, and that's not true account is there so am i searching what am i searching um let's search for the fire i got not found so what's going on uh, get your gov on here um 
Okay, so here's the Tao. Um, cool glasses, somebody. Not that I.O. Um, and that's not me, so I'm kind of confused. <laughs> cool hats, cool socks, cool shorts, cool shoes, cool belts, cool pants, cool glasses, cool API. Um, what's going on here? Please somebody explain it to me. Um, vote. I'm not sure. Scatter, token, pocket, anchor. Do I have to? Please don't let me like go into that place. I don't need a wallet to um, be alive, you know. I don't need crypto to stay excited and connected. Um, what is this about? Somebody tell me, please. Um, what's this page about in Ucoin DAO? I understand what DAO means, but um, and I understand that this is about like voting for certain proposals. Uh, but author and that that IO who is that? Um, you know, it's like way feels like somebody's like trying to. You know, I I don't understand. Like we need to communicate about these things to be able to like me publicly share these. You know, okay, um, right. So uh, I'm gonna go into dematerialized before I get too angry on new coin and new life. Um, dematerialized, what up? Uh, Karl Lagerfeld will not approve this, okay? If he was still alive, this is all uh, very gimmicky. And it's just like you got two colors, really. And when you go into the product page, I can't even click on it. It looks like just another product page. Um, you know, okay, we have the 3D model here. Um, it tell it tells me that it's already sold out and one tree planted really um i don't believe you tree nation this is all greenwashing and look i'm not calling it lightly okay you plant the tree but you know what i plant the seeds wherever i go so uh please like don't don't waste my time and don't waste my energy in looking into all your solutions that you're trying to implement to offset your com carbon imprint, uh, offset my mental health. How about that? Um, I challenge you. Um, yeah, I don't like this logo thingy. Like this is not making me happy at all. Um, okay, I go to discover. Uh, what am I discovering? Still the same page. Um, I go to shop. It's all sold out. Um, okay, those uh, shitty sneakers are not sold out. Good for you. You can still somehow, if you want to buy them, you buy them. I like the Institute of Fashion, of Digital Fashion creation, these AR pieces, but I would never wear anything that has to do with AR or VR and all of that. I just don't play the narrative at all. Those sports items are really gimmicky. I don't like them. This is just a waste of my energy um yeah vogue talents forget about it this is nothing talented about that rebecca minkoff really really like really you know um old life and i already shared my opinions on these um it feels like coming from a video game and i'm not interested in um being engaged in video games of all sorts um yeah this is just uh this is mess. This is all like trash, digital trash. Okay, I'm going to take a look at that closely because I do want to appreciate the art of creating this digital AR piece. And then you got that. Okay, okay, that's how you wear it. Um, you know what? I really want to love it. I really do. And I'm even going to screenshot that for my personal collection. Um, you know how it works, dematerialized, right? With me and you. And uh, no, 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 it's not something I'd like to invest this much money. While so many people in the world would actually use this money to feed themselves for many, many weeks. Yeah, we gotta wake up, you fashion industry. I'm so disappointed. Zora, I know I understand it's not fashion, but it was on my list, so I'm just looking at it, and it's still very much digital trash um, happening, as you can see. This is not art, this is digital trash. 
And I don't care that you spend hours creating these works. Um, these are not beautiful things um, that I'd like to show to my children on the internet or on, or on the history of what the internet used to be. Yeah, this is all trash. Do you realize that? It's all trash. It's digital trash. And we're creating more and more digital trash. Um, okay, so let's see. So this uh, brave new brave new world, what is it, right? BNW, BNB. Um, these guys reached out to me and asked for, uh, to work with them. And then when I told them that my rate and they're like, nope, thanks, you know, so... Um, still looks very shitty, doesn't look like uh, something that I'd like to engage myself in at all, and um, life, prismatic dress. I'm wondering, is like five people looking at it with your social media, um, you know, um, reach? We are here. Okay, January 4th. Yeah, this is way too complex. It doesn't look attractive. It doesn't look interesting. It feels like a waste of time. Uh, join our fashion metaverse. We're building the entirely new society. that The kind of society that I would not want to be in. You know what I mean? Um, where the value we provide to growing community is true, transparent. What is true to you? Transparent and secure ownership of high-value digital assets and opportunities in the form of fashion NFTs by establishing brands and designers. By established brands and designers. What is established brand and designer? <laughs> What's the difference between brand and designer? A brand new vision is a fashion-first NFT platform, um, turning NFT ownership into unique brand experiences. And we're building the world's most advanced and digital NFT wardrobe, making fashion NFT wearable. In the metaverse, um, please uh, don't make me start on what the metaverse is and what's the future of metaverse. <sighs> okay, worn by stars in real life and the metaverse. The real life version of the prismatic dress was worn at Paris Hilton in Tomorrowland 2019. That's not the mark that I'd like to like look up to, you know? No, it makes a debut. Um, a few lucky people will get the chance to own prismatic dress piece. Final whitelist discount price and public sale price uh, will be revealed nearer to the end of the draw. Um, the few tokens will also be reserved uh, for distribution of BNV's uh, discretion. We are complicating life you beings while well, there's a whole industry that we need to clean up we're still complicating like even more so we'll have to clean up even that because you're gonna have to explain to uh, whatever amounts of people who bought your products how uh, they're gonna be able to use uh, access their funds when they will actually need those funds you know and coming from a crypto holder here you know and I I kind of say goodbye to all the money that I own on crypto because I don't bother, you know. Um, yeah, no. Um, I'm going to look back into BNV and look at their showroom. Just click around a little bit. Look how uh, amazingly it looks like New Life or New Coin, right? With the colors and all. <clears throat> um, yeah, these are old Mishka drop. Dazed blonde dress. Dazed. Um, okay, what? Oh, view on open sea. No, thank you. I don't want to go there. <sighs> I'm bored. I'm really bored. Look at me yawning. Connect with uh, um, wallets. I don't want to connect with my wallets. I don't care. You know, I really don't care. Make up something better than this. I don't need, you know, I don't need digital wallets. I don't need digital money. I don't need digital assets. Please don't waste my time kind of experience right now that rises up within me. And um, understand, I, I love, I love uh, technology. I love fashion. I love the idea of uh, blockchain, but I am super, super tired of what I'm seeing in the um, current state of the Web3 uh, ignition. Um, 
Okay, what's going on? The, the video is supposed to play. No, I feel like I go crazy when I watch you. You know, digital acts, um, I told you before, uh, you're really, really like playing with my nerves, uh, really playing with my nerves with all the uh, overload of data and complete data that is just really trash. And you're creating problems that do not need to exist. And you're trying to like, even like make solutions to those problems that are manufactured. Okay, look at this. Um, lots of circles. Uh, digital DAO, uh, digital X DAO. Everyone's like talking about their DAOs. Nobody really knows what it is until they actually start embodying that. And when you start embodying that, you realize how fucking hard it is actually to be a DAO in the world where we learn to, uh, you know, be a top down type of like um, capitalistic scenario. When you start really sharing things with each other and you realize, you know, when I started sharing my money with those that are working with and realizing that they're not interested to um, actually showing up the way that they've, um, I guess, like planned to show up or we envisioned them to show up in, in my organization, um, then I'm realizing that it's, it's you know, it's, we, we as a humanity have so far to go uh, to create actual balanced DAOs, you know. Okay, let's read further. Um, we've got some words that I don't know even. Okay, we have the networks of these um, blockchain systems. Um. Yeah, this, this, this chart doesn't give any information to me at all besides just hyped up words that you put out there digital acts what is gm 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 really anyone who puts these kind of like running like gm 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 or join the movement join the movement i i want to you know curse when i see them why uh waste of energy okay uh metaverse boutique please Digital fashion, physical fashion. Please don't create physical fashion. Um, please. <laughs> don't create digital fashion. Just forget it. Like, please focus on your mental health first. Look how many links I need to follow to be updated. This is not normal, you beings. Not normal at all. Open source repos. Okay, let's get a let's have a look. GitHub. Subgraph Ethereum. Subgraph Polygon. I want to see that. Yeah, when I see things like that, I'm really, really, really triggered and bored. And not because I don't understand it, but because I'm just knowing that this is not going to last um, long enough, you know? And uh, it's just hurting the humanity uh, in many ways. A mental health first, and then what comes from mental health problems? A physical health problems, right? Easy. Um, top languages here, I see. Um, use the bridge, fork the code, read more. Uh, so they're based on Ethereum, okay. Um, I do want to go to the boutique. Just because. What you got? Show me what you got. Digital X. Get dressed for the metaverse. Like, please don't. Tailored. Okay. Yeah, you beings, you making up really bad um, stories, dance animation for sure.
So many designers, huh? That's a lot of designers. Here's how much my order costs. And then you connect with it, and then that's when you lose me. <laughs> Simple. Um, okay, so boutique meaning like this tailored experience, like, and it's also not visual at all, so you have to like select all these variables. Uh, psst, please, JTLX, get it together in your user experience uh, design. If you have all the money that you can use in creating these like technological problems yeah like all i see in digital fashion is problems problems Pro unnecessary or super unnecessary problems and then you have the physical items now like literally physical items in these like very generic colors um please don't i mean you you crypto world know me you know if you have seen me on conferences going like into these videos or even live reporting to you what i'm seeing this is like you know crypto um assets in in form of digital uh oh, sorry physical uh t-shirts <laughs> merch like please stop that Um, governance. Okay, let's look at governance. Um, you see all those voting things? Yeah, my loves, please, please go, like, go take your time in nature. Don't. Okay, artisan, uh, my dear friend, Regina, let's see. So we have landed right on the catalog. Every single picture is moving, basically. Um, my loves, this is all feels old. It feels like 2020 and we're already in 2022 almost. And I'm actually asking you to stop. Like I am actually asking you to actually stop. When I asked the fashion industry to stop producing, I was serious about it and I was like very vocal about it, like especially in 2020. In order to make a deep difference, we'll have to stop. But here, look. One oh one. Reginichka, my my love. Um we're gonna talk and catch up, like this is not where we wanna bring our youth to. Not at all. One oh one still. Use your own photo. This looks really bad. Um, I'm very, very unhappy. You know, and it's just becoming worse. It doesn't become better, you know? In terms of, I'm not talking about creativity and creation here. I'm talking about like the, the whole idea of digital fashion. It's just becoming worse. It's becoming like this next level of consumerism where all this money could be actually spent on, you know, creating a deep change in the world and supporting those people who are in need by putting this money into the pool um, of balanced culture, for example, where we can actually create co-living communities together and live in uh, a much better environment um, together with, with these creatives uh, and be happier together in physical, you know, uh, learn to communicate, uh, learn to be together, learn to uh, build something that is beyond digital uh, fashion, okay, digital heaven, that's it's definitely not at all, it's cute, I like the dress, it's cute, I like the pleats, my first fashion collection was full of pleats, uh, physical, yeah, but honestly, ratings, let's see. Oh, wow. Is that designers? Oh my God, this one earned because it has more um, garments. 
know, or more followers on whatever social media they promoted it. Top spenders. Let's look at them. That's it. That's the top spender. Top holders. It feels so apocalyptic at this point. I'm outraged, artists. And I feel like I'm this old grandma or something. I'm, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm appreciating these human beings who are creating these beautiful digital pieces. But also, uh, I think it's the waste of time. I do really believe that it's a waste of time, waste of energy, waste of creative expression. Um, I think nobody needs digital garments, really. Honestly. I'm still going to take a screenshot of this to commemorate um, this piece. Um, yeah, every single screenshot I make is um, going into a bundle um, that is um, a digital asset. I'm not sure if it's going to be um, crypto asset or it's going to be a simple, you know, digital book in a way um, for us to get into. Actually, I'm going to go back into the um, artisan still. Um, but it's definitely going to be something that is deeply intentional and um, more focused on education and entertainment rather than on making money. Um but yeah, I think we should really reconsider on where we're going, um, this digital fashion industry. And I think there should be an actual strong voice that will direct us all. And um, right now I, I don't see any voice. I just see a lot of competition in the space and uh, kind of like copying each other. Please uh, don't judge me for being judgmental. I'm here to, um, you know, curate, narrate and report on what I'm seeing dgware.io um, oh that's even worse you see when I have nothing to say I'm just going to be silent which is the worst It really hurts my body to see this. It was nice not to be exposed to anything uh, digital fashion in the past six months, to be honest. Um, I felt uh, much more kind. I felt much more comfortable with myself. I felt like I wasn't too critical. You know, I was really educating myself in the crypto space and uh, attending physical events and conferences meeting people in person and getting to know the community uh, behind this whole uh, thing. You can imagine, just, 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 just so you know, you know, this is what's happened on December 13th. So we kind of like, you know, going into the same uh, location as we've been going to. It's like creating bigger um, conglomerates. What's going on? Can I, can I see still some of the products and drops? Yes. Oh no, drop archive. You know why this happened? Because um, the founders of this will be like, okay, yeah, we're, we're fed up. So let me, let me just sell this um, to this big firm. I'm very sad, um, but it's, it's pretty predictable. And I'm pretty sure that like other companies will be um, bought. Um, this is a replicant, so it's not a on-chain based. Um, but you still can shop, you know, you can still shop. Let's see the designs. Not bad. But yeah, like, my darlings, um, I see no point in uh, digital fashion. I see it as a visualization on what's possible with uh, physical fashion, of course, um, as it's always been, the 3D fashion it is. Um, but generally, I, I think it's just a waste of energy in so many ways. And... Um, I don't know anyone really in person who I respect who would spend any money on digital assets. Yes. Again, crypto holder here. Crypto holder. And um, I don't give a fuck if I lose this money in crypto because I realize that 
Um, it's not the kind of money I can actually support myself with right now or um, anytime soon in the future. And um, what really matters is physical, um, yeah, physical, not even money, but physical, you know, spaces, locations, and uh, the land where we can grow our own food and we can um, come together as a community. Okay, dress sex, are you ready? Enter the matrix. I do not want to enter the matrix ever again. I've quit it several years ago, but okay. Um, there are glasses. And uh, excuse me, dress sex, you're still not on uh, crypto space, right? You're, you're just selling me uh, images. Uh, and there's an app. I didn't try the app. Forget about it. I don't download any new apps unless it's like my friend's app that they're asking me to test. And you dress sex, you're not my friends. I, you know, at some point I wished you were my friends, but you, you're not. So, um, yeah. Remember that dress? It was like an AR filter on Insta at some point over a year ago. Yeah, still looks like any other e-commerce. I'm so bored. Um, kind of want to throw up, uh, to be honest, um, watching this. Um, buy it now, add to cart. Uh, yeah, I don't even want to screenshot anything here in Google Pixel. <sighs> Meta look. What's the difference between shop now and metal look? You guys, you're really wasting energy here. It's you know even if if I look at like Netaporte and Moda Perandi, I'm super triggered because you know just so much waste is there. When I look at here, it's not about even waste that I'm looking at. I'm just wasting my time. You know, it's like wasted energy that I'm seeing. Um, okay, XR Couture. Why can't we see those images? So you see what's the future of digital fashion? That you can't see the images even, right? Like, this is embarrassing. Where do I go? I don't even want, you know where to go. I have no idea where to go. Is this crypto-based? No, doesn't look like it. Drag and drop though. I do really want to love this space and cherish it, but I really do not. Um, and again, excuse me, I wrote the full of digital fashion article six months ago and I haven't published it because I felt like it was too harsh. No, you see all these crypto payments that they accept? Yeah, BS, uh, BS, um, really. No guide. People are tired, you know, I can feel the energy of people who are building it. They're like building it and they don't want it, you know how it is. The fabricant is a different story. This is very, very unique and uh, very historical brand. Um, I've met um, Carrie from the fabricant back in 2019. I've met um, Amber uh, in person uh, during my trip uh, to Amsterdam in um, fall 2021. I had a connection with her. It's, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's more of a philosophy. It's more of a ecosystem and network um i still don't support the narrative so much but i love the people behind it you know um fifth avenue oh no don't take me to portion oh at least we can see the picture huh coming up Still, 
again, I appreciate Fabricant more than any company out there because they started the movement, okay? They ignited, they initiated it, they're modeling it, um, great community. But I think we're, um, we need to stop. And I received the email from, from them the other day saying that they're like postponing their whatever launch. That's cute because... Um, because honestly, nobody wants Binance. Can you imagine? They're leading me to Binance. <laughs> What's going on? Because I'm, I'm no, because I need to accept it, right? Yeah, duh. Sold out, though. Um, my loves. My loves. We're creating hype out of nothing. Out of thin air. I'd rather you take old garments and start creating new ones out of them instead of, um, you know, seeing the co the whole industry collapse uh, itself as we're, like, trying to distract ourselves from uh, what's happening, actually, in real life. Um, I really want to click more, but I don't feel like it. You know what I mean? Australian Fashion Week. Okay. I really want to be kind, guys, like, I really love you all, like, I, you know, I love you all, I know you all, like, it's a community, and I'm, I'm trying to be as kind as I can, but let's, let's just be honest with ourselves, um, Ouroboros, um, I love Ouroboros, bad user experience, your Ouroboros, couldn't do a better website. Really bad website, honestly, like, it's just something about it that is not cool. Um, it's cute that you translated into my language. New page. Great. New page. New page. Good Ouroboros. You see how I feel tired looking at it? Vault membership. NFT auction. I don't even want to go deep and learn about you all. Even though, I, again, like this is one of my favorite, favorite brands. Like after Fabricant, you're, you're that to me. Or a Boris. Um, okay, tribute brand. Still the same garments, basically. They're all at least the same aesthetic. But I'm already bored to look at garments available now. Uh, new cyber garments available now. New cyber garments available now. Please stop. Um, cyber garments. Why can't I click on it? What's going on? Limited issue. How limited? Yeah, no, I cannot like click inside. About. You, my loves, um, I really want to love you all. I can't. There's no way. Um, Studio PMS is nice. Um, I've always loved them, but they haven't. I don't think they've changed their website since I last looked at it. Yeah, same. And I love it. Beautiful stuff. I'm going to show you all. Um, but they're a design studio. Um, let's see. Well, we got the Clo 3D server maintenance. Um, oof. Cute visual. Let's see pictures. Well, this is least practical, and I love it. And at the same time, I love digital fashion because it's so uh, mysterious and, um, you know, unrealistic. Don't get me wrong. Again, I'm, I'm fascinated. It's just I feel like it's a uh, old life and I don't want to engage in anything that is old life. Um, just finishing it up right now. Let's look at pricing. Let's have a look. It's 
they're not showing business ones they're not showing education either yeah i remember i was using Claw 3d uh, back in uh, the days of tinker taylor and it was still very 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 primitive and i also interviewed um, one of the team members of Quo 3D for the Fashion is Your Business podcast um, back at the conference in um, LA several years ago. Unreal Engine we're looking at. Um, what's up, Unreal Engine? What you got for us? I'm still not impressed. Um, it's so interesting that, you know, I don't play video games. I'm not, you know, interested in digital fashion that way um, as well. Like like putting on clothing on my avatar. I don't care about these things. But also when I looked at the games like that, like or like visuals, I'm not impressed. I don't know why. It, I don't know why it's so hard to impress me. Like things in my head are much more beautiful. The things, the, the places that I travel and astral travel, travel, and I remember from my past lives and from you know, the, you know, interdimensional existence, they're much more uh, beautiful. Yeah. Marvelous designer. Um, <laughs> I want to see new features. Nice way to showcase a little um, quick screen recording. Yeah, no, like. I'm very sad um, to know that there's like a whole generation of creators are spending their time on the screens uh, trying to create all these digital phys like digital realities and things that will um, eventually will disappear, you know? Um, I'd rather have people creating, um, you know, interiors for physical, you know, physical locations and um, be a little bit more intentional with what is being created out there in the um, reality that we all actually experience. Um, yeah, I've removed myself from metaverse generally. I don't use Instagram. You'll see me using Instagram here because I want to showcase you things, but I, I feel so much better and clearer uh, as I'm not engaged in the uh, web 2.0 much anymore, specifically the social. Um, I feel much more liberated generally. Um, pure, clear, you know, um, gravity sketch, interesting, um, so we got browseware, is browser still alive, look at the brands, why not, Oh, look, they haven't published anything since 2020, which is an interesting sign. Yeah? Natalie. Hello. I remember you, Natalie, from Clubhouse Rooms. I wonder what you're up to these days. Um, the early ones, your getaway, uh, gateway into metaverse, and Alexar. Um, show me what you got, Anara. Is it Anara? Yeah. Contact. Um, phew, I can't even like see what else is there. Real engine. Demo request. Web VR e-commerce platform streaming anywhere, anytime, on any device. Uh, e-commerce. You're trying to sell us again things. Um, okay, let's read. Anima is the world's first cloud-based platform building getaway um, to the metaverse. 
We develop virtual worlds that are accessible on the web for music, fashion, and creatives. And we build off uh, for proprietary technology and uh, Unreal Engine. Um, yeah, not interested at all. Obsessed, how are you doing? Um, nothing much new. New stores, no? Retail locations on VR? Yeah, I don't... This is not I don't really do shopping online generally and of course I would not want to do any shopping online and in, in, in the virtual same here this is like a showroom app right yeah um, I enjoy physical stores I enjoy going into physical stores and actually um, you know meeting people there and connecting I don't enjoy digital experience at all I don't enjoy digital meetings. I don't enjoy communicating with my friends on uh, technology. I prefer to show up wherever they're at and uh, meet with them in physical. This outfit doesn't exist. Um, how are you doing, dear one? Integration, explanation, exposition. Are we looking at, um, yeah, we're not looking at 100% now, we're not looking at 100%. Um, I don't know. The importance of consciousness is definitely important. Is it the last article that you wrote, my love? And then you're like, I'm fed up with that. I feel you. I feel you. And the one before was June and 9th. I appreciate those lengthy pieces, you know. See, this number one. April nineteenth. It's Burning Man. Um all right, okay. Um this outfit doesn't exist. She's tired. Uh, she's no longer there. Armor. Okay. Um this is from our friend, right? As well, a digital imaginarium and cabinet of curiosity for your avatar. Um, I don't need anything from my avatar. I'm fine, thank you. Uh, virtual textures, a digital fashion, generative art, <clears throat> 3D retail. Apply, connect. Dedicated to exploring dimensions of interaction, participation, and collaborative creation of digital assets. Our mission is to blend organic and inorganic worlds. Uh, to create a sustainable digital ecosystem for artists and their fans to explore the evolution of virtual identity. Open your eyes. Um, not impressed at all. Type form. 3D Leonie, how are you doing? Are you enjoying the dematerialized life? And uh, Yeah, so Alex uh, was supposed to be part of the... Uh, balanced fashion crew but then um, 
you know, it didn't happen. What was the last post from? Four days. Oh, look so Christmas party. Nice. Good for you. For sure. I'm really bored looking at these things, you know? Digital fashion podcast collection. I would take a listen. If it ever opens. Oh nice. Yeah, that's nice. I'll I'll um I'll take a listen to this. Um definitely it would be interesting like some of them. Generally, um I nice these I love these things that you do, um, Leonie, when you come you bring together things that are um nice, like valuable. Um I don't post much anymore, huh? And this one's from Office Appreciation. Four days. I see three posts, four days. 15 weeks ago. Can you imagine? feel you though for not posting too much um institute of digital fashion let's see what we got now still the same website huh who we work with clients nice good list And uh, a magazine, huh? Yeah, no, I've seen this all. Um, nothing's changed. Institute of Digital Fashion. What's going on? Are you still alive? Press. Wow. Yeah, no. When you send me two things when I need to enter the email address, like you lose me. Yeah, you lose me. All right. Um, Digital Fashion Group Academy. Um... What we got. I don't remember if it's changed the website. I just don't remember. It looks very generic. Nice names. Academy. Courses. Um, digital Fashion Group. Is it like same thing basically? Global Talents. Nothing has changed here. Um, Helsinki Fashion Week, we know it, nothing has changed. Digital Village, um, what's going on? Enter the Metaverse. Doesn't let me.
Yeah, no, I haven't heard from Evelyn for a while, so I'm not, not sure. But also I have not been active on Clubhouse where we all hanged out. It feels like really old life, to be honest. Like Actually, it's reviewing all of this feels like old life deep, deeply, really. Um, two million, though, you know. Yeah, when this mo this amount of money is poured into digital fashion, I'm really disappointed. I think this is, um, yeah, not nice. Ply, Tatiana's uh, my old uh, balanced culture employee, uh, new uh, venture. Um, nothing new, you know, they've created this one piece, basically, that is just this. And um, you can, you know, create, like, you, you can potentially in, in the future download the app and try it on I don't know Tatiana what else you can do with it but this is very very sad um, you know I love you but this is not what I expect somebody who's graduated from the balanced fashion university to create um, digital fashion stylist can you imagine it's the worst um, yeah I was just like looking at um you know, suggested uh, pages and I uh, was really thinking a lot about what kind of um, um, posts or uh, accounts I'm uh, opening up just to have like a little cultural cut on what's going on. Everything looks very much the same and uh, not exciting at all. I mean, I like this child cute that's nice mm, try on technology so how different is from ply is from ply tatiana tell me what's the difference between this and um, you um Why are we here? I saw that before. <laughs> Trash, for sure. Um, I kind of wanted to research more of these marketplaces and crypto, um, you know, asset uh, places. But I don't care, honestly. I really don't at this point. I really don't. <laughs> Designers. Yeah, those are just again suggested um, by Instagram. So I just trusted the algorithm to show me what's up in the 3D fashion world. 
Okay, that's what we got. I'm not interested in going anywhere further, um, but you've got the idea. I'm super disappointed. I am um, sad and fed up, and I'm going to press publish on this article and see what's the reaction from the community. Um, yeah, I love you all still. I think we just need to talk and be a little bit more conscientious on what we're building and kind of narrative we're engaging ourselves into and making sure that we're not, um, you know, uh, putting ourselves to death by uh, creating uh, digital trash. Yeah? All right. Goodbye.